Well, the Buffet boys were under scrutiny after that first half, but they've responded in the opening drive of the second half here. Well, what happens when you give Ricky Ray time? He can find Jason Tucker. He can find Trevor Gaylor. And he looked a lot more comfortable in that drive. Started out with good field position from his defense. And time to throw makes all the difference in the world. And the complexion of this game changes, particularly with Dave Dickinson out here. And Buck Pierce in. Lockett stopped as he crossed the 30. And Let's take a look at the time Ricky Ray had to throw that touchdown pass. The, well, the pass to Trevor Gaylor, first of all, you can see 97. Brent Johnson got caught up on his stunt, so he never got to the gap he was supposed to. Then the Edmonton Eskimos go to a tight end set with Maurer in the game as one of the tight ends. That widens the defensive line and gives Ricky Ray more time. So a couple of adjustments. They pick up the stunt with just the 5 0 lineman on the long play, and on the touchdown, they bring in tight ends. So a shot of adrenaline on the Eskimo sideline. Let's see how it carries over on this BC Lion possession. Pierce rolling out. Joe Montford in pursuit. And Pierce hot steps it. Oh, oh. Thought he might slide there, but he got out of bounds without being nailed. Well, and, and they're... They, running out of quarterbacks if he is nailed and knocked out of the game. Remember, Dave Dickinson is done. And I thought the exact same thing. You look at Mofford on the outside here. He comes down in, and, and he gets caught there, but he's such, got such great speed. He can still cut off Buck Pierce to the outside. Now, there's someone coming from the top of your screen, and Buck Pierce decides to Whoa. sidestep that hit. That was Jonte Buell, the safety. He sidesteps that hit. Instead of hook sliding, I thought, whoa, there's going to be a collision. I would sure, I was sure Buck was going to duck. <laughs> yeah, he, and he should duck. John T. Buell getting that chance to play free safety. And, and with the injury to Gerald Dixon early on, Kelly Wilshire has been out there, and maybe that's helped him a little bit to have Wilshire right next to him because Wilshire is the veteran. Oh, that's a good point because he talked about it this week that, that Wilshire is helping him a lot in preparation a veteran 10 years in the league linebacker and safety and Wiltshire is uh, a great student of the game and you can see he's directing traffic from another position in there and helping Jonte Buell. Jonte Buell a very good athlete good cover down guy we can pick up slot backs but does not have the experience as Wiltshire. Second less than a yard Jackson comes in to lunge ahead. And should have enough to move the sticks. I'll catch Roger Jays on TSN tomorrow. Toronto playing host to the.